Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. To determine if a reaction is spontaneous or non-spontaneous, you want to take a look at the Gibbs free energy value for that reaction. If the Gibbs free energy value is positive, it means that the reaction is going to be non-spontaneous. It would require an input of energy in order to cause it to occur. If the Gibbs free energy value is negative, it means the reaction is spontaneous and does not require energy in order to proceed naturally. Now, Gibbs free energy is the change of G value in this equation. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to solve for the point at which the change of g is equal to zero. Because the question stem is asking us about a situation in which the reaction will go from being a spontaneous reaction to a non-spontaneous reaction. And zero is the crossover point from negative to positive, right? So I'm going to set everything equal to zero. And we are told that the enthalpy value for this equation is negative 77 we're solving for temperature, and we know that the entropy value is negative 0.48. Now, moving forward to the math, if we add 77 to both sides, we're going to get 77 equals negative or positive t times 0.48. And finally, we'll divide both sides by 0.48. Now, I don't know about you, but dividing 77 by 0.48 is a very difficult thing to do in my head. So I'm going to make the numbers easier to work with. What if we change the numbers from 77 to 75 and 0.48 to 0.5? Dividing by 0.5 is the same thing as multiplying by 2. Therefore, T is going to be equal to 150 Kelvin. And for more help on doing calculations like this very, very quickly, I'd highly recommend checking out my High Speed Math Mastery course. It will teach you all the math you need to know for the MCAT in a very step-by-step, -step, straightforward manner. And taking a second look at our answer choices, we'll notice that answer choice B, 160, is the closest to our correct answer. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, please be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.